If you've played Tower on Linux through Steam, you might have noticed it's a bit tricky to get TH crap working properly. You could use the standalone patches and then rename the executable so Steam launches the patch that way. But the problem with this is that you're using the standalone patches. It's not exactly a clean solution. Besides, all games don't necessarily have a standalone patch available, like 18.5 as of this video. And it's also not compatible with VPatch. So, as I said to find a solution, I stumbled upon the script by Tactica and someone had already done the work for me. So yeah, disclaimer, I do not claim credit for anything here. I just want to bring attention to this and make a video tutorial to help others. I'll have all the relevant links in the description. Let's set up THCrab first. If you've already done this or know how to do it, you can go ahead and skip this part. So let's download it. Just save it somewhere. Go ahead and extract it somewhere. I'll put it in my Toho directory. Now I recommend putting it somewhere that doesn't have spaces in the directory. I'll get to that later. Now you'll need .NET 4.6.1 for this to work. So use something like Winetrix to install it, or go do bin and scripts. Here's a handy script to install it. So naturally you'll need Wine, so just run TXE. And here's the configuration tool, it's pretty much the same stuff as on Windows and all that. So uh, go ahead and choose your language pack. It's advanced mode if you want more stuff. I'll go with the English language. I'll download stuff and then you'll define the game. So there's a few things with this. If I try to choose the folder where all the Steam games are, it for some reason doesn't want, sometimes work. Uh, as you can see. So what you can instead do is copy that. Just go just select each game individually. So as you can see it's uh, I'll just oops. What you can do is just type the number of the next game like this. It's a pretty fast way to add them individually. So once you have every game you want to patch, just click next. And you don't technically need shortcuts for this method, but if you have any non-Steam games, you could make shortcuts for them. I'll put them in the TH folder for now. And next. There we go, it's done. Next, let's set up the script. Either download it from the GitHub or use this command. I'll put this in the description as well, like that. There we go. So we'll do sudo move thcrab personal proton. And we'll move it to user local bin. There we go. It is now in user local bin. We'll need to make it executable as well. Now let's edit the script. So open it in your favorite text editor. And there's a few things we need to change here. So the thcrab folder, you just point this to wherever your thcrab is located at and Minus in games so hcrab. So if you have spaces in your directory, uh, you'll have to uh, figure out how to make it work in scripts. I've tried stuff like double quotes and yeah, putting a back, back backslash and whatnot. I, so for some reason, I can't seem to make it work. So if you insist on having spaces in your directory, just, uh, you'll have to figure it out. I recommend just not having any space. And then optional, you can change default configuration. Now the thing is, I went with English, but it's actually, the configuration is actually called lang underscore en. Um, so make sure you check what the configuration is called, even if you go with the default English selection. But if you, if you want to use anything else as default config, such as Chinese or whatever, you could Put it here as well. The configuration can be set per game as well, so you can have uh, English as default, and uh, maybe maybe Spanish uh, in a different game. So just go ahead and save that. 
All right, really easy. Now we'll just go to our library, and then for each game we want to apply the patch to. We'll go to launch up the properties and launch options. And here you want to put thgrab underscore proson dash e, and then in inside quotes percent command percent. Now I don't know if the quotes are necessary, but that's what the GitHub page says. So now this is a base command. I will run the game with the default config specified in the script. So if I were to launch the game now, I will get the English patch as that's what I set up. Now, if you have any launch options that you want to use, such as feral game mode, you have to put them at the start of the line. If you want to override the default config, so let's say you have a default config of English and you want to use different configurations such as uh, let's say Chinese use the C flag and I guess it's like something something like that you, you know you, you know what it is if you if you install it so that's how you will use some other configuration or if you want to enable V patch you will put V a flag but this will launch the game with TH crap let's give it a try Let's launch black market. Now you want to make sure that background updates are disabled. This is so Steam can properly shut it down. And that's it. There is the game patch in English through Proton. As you can see. Works well. It's really simple too. And just to show that V patch works as well, here's my launch options. Uh, I've got the V patch flag here. So let's launch that. As you can see, we've got the increased window size from V patch. So it does indeed work. Excellent. So well, there you have it. The HCRAP working with the Steam version of Toho Games on Linux through Proton pretty effortlessly. If this video was helpful to you, I would appreciate a like. And if you need more Toho content in your feed, subscribing helps me out a lot. With that being said, I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.